and welcome to this channel. My name is Yashti and my channel name is The Unwritten Life. It's very unwritten, my life, that is. Especially these days. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Um, if you are returning, you can see the same background I've had in a different video. Which means, yes, I am still, currently, living with my parents. We are all still alive, which is, you know, that's, that's a good thing. Um, we're all also very done with the whole thing of me living with my parents, but, you know, you can't always get what you want. A part of me is happy that you can't always get what you want because I think we would all get very spoiled and not enjoy much after a while then, but, you know, some things I would have totally enjoyed to get what I want, like a new house. Am I still upset about this? Yes, very much. Am I frustrated? Yes. Am I happy about it? Well, I mean, I'm happy me and my parents haven't killed each other, so that's a bonus, I think. Sometimes a little uncertain, because I mean, after many years of not living with my parents, all of a sudden living with my parents, it's, um, yeah, it's a challenge. But I, I guess you could say that we all have said challenge accepted. And so far, as I said, we're all still alive. And no, I have not bought a new puzzle. This puzzle belongs to my parents. It doesn't have a title, so I can't tell you the title. It is a thousand piece puzzle, and you will eventually see how it looks, all of it, when I'm done. So, yeah, I, I guess you could call that the intro. <laughs> it's been, um, it's been a hot minute since I've talked to you guys, but you know, I'm living with my parents. I, um, uh, I've come to realize I don't film much. Especially not like talking videos like this while doing puzzles. I was gonna say my puzzle, but I've, as I just mentioned earlier, this is not my puzzle. This puzzle belongs to my parents. Luckily, they have some puzzles too, so you know, it's not all bad living with my parents. It's not bad, really, per se, at all. It's just, I am an introvert. I need my alone time. And living with my parents means that they're, I mean, it's my parents' house. I can't really toss them out of their own house. That would be, yeah, no. That would not be acceptable, in my opinion. I don't think they would have, have allowed me to toss them out from time to time either, but... This weekend, they are away, so I am going to take this opportunity and enjoy my time alone in a house and, you know, talk to you guys. <laughs> I'm still looking for a house, though, obviously. I mean, I'm repeatedly said that I'm not going to stay here forever, which is very true. I just wish to get on out of here part would would come soon. That would make me and my parents very happy. Let's be honest, that's uh, yeah, it's a thing. But, you know, there's always something. So, we all have to learn how to adapt. I'm not very good at it. And I, I don't really feel a big need or a big desire to become good at such adapting, as in living with other people. I rather like living alone, so I don't, apart from, you know, currently living with my parents, I don't see a big need or a good reason to have to adapt living with other people. Why would I want to do that? I mean, some people would some people enjoy living with other people, but 
not always do. And those of us who are not really crazy about living with other people should be allowed to live alone. And I'm not saying that I'm being forced to be here. <laughs> oh god, that would have been so sad. <laughs> but it's more like I kind of imposed on my parents because all of a sudden I didn't have anywhere to stay because I sold my house and, uh, you know, I'm very happy about having sold my house. I will never regret that part. The regrettable part is the challenge or the struggle or... Yeah, the, the challenging struggle of finding a house. I don't really regret that though, it's just... It's really annoying that it's so hard to find a place. So, yeah. I can't say it makes me sad, but I don't really, I don't really like it taking all this time. I wish it would, um, I wish it would be easier. And it's afternoon, so I have to use my ceiling lights. And these p uh, pieces have a bit of a glare to them, so it's a little hard to properly properly see all of them but we can figure it out I hope I really hope <laughs> it'll be fine you know it'll be fine so yeah where was I going with this I'm not sure apart from the fact that yeah I still live with my parents it's a uh, it's a thing as usual um yeah, I haven't talked to you guys for a while, so it always, I think, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I must have mentioned this before, but if I haven't talked to you guys for a while, then all of a sudden we talk again, and I'm like, I'm very, ah, this is unusual, or weird, or not necessarily uncomfortable, because if it was too uncomfortable, let's be honest, I just wouldn't have done it, so <laughs> that's, yeah. That's how I would have functioned with that, I guess. Or not functioned. But, yeah, it's, um... Uh, where do I even start? I mean, I have been looking for houses. Um, it's, uh... God, it's such a mess. Or, it's not a mess, it's just... I feel like challenging is not the right word because it doesn't manage to encompass everything. I haven't even went to look at houses, like, physically. I just read about them and decided that they're definitely not for me. That in itself is very much a big challenge because that means... That means I'm not getting anywhere. I'm still, like, stuck. In, um... Not in limbo. I mean, I'm not in limbo, but I'm very... I feel very stuck. I don't, I don't know how to unstick myself from the stuck feeling that I currently have. And I don't like the stuck feeling. It's not a, it's not a pleasant feeling. And, yeah. So if you have any tips on how to unstick yourself from the feeling of being stuck, did that make sense? I hope so. If you have any tips or tricks on how to unstick yourself from a, stuck situation. Not a sticky situation, but a feeling of being stuck. If you have any tips and tricks, please help me out. I would really appreciate it. And until someone helps me with that, I guess I'm stuck. I should be able to figure it out on my own, but it's, it's hard. I don't feel like they go. Boy, no. What? There. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's uh, the feeling of being stuck. It's um, uh, it's an interesting feeling, and I have no idea how to deal with that feeling. So that's challenging. And I've obviously sorted out the edge pieces before I started talking to you guys. And what? Did I do something wrong? I feel like something is missing. 
It's probably just in my head. We'll figure it out. I mean, I'll, I'll figure it out. I assume. Oh. And if I go a little back and forth, I don't know if I'm gonna edit that out or not. Probably. Possibly. I have no idea. But we'll figure it out. But I'm trying to heat up the house a bit because, uh, I forgot to put fire in the, in the wood stove and, you know, it's, it's not winter yet, but it's definitely, definitely fall. I mean, the cool, maybe I just didn't get all the edge pieces. Anyway, uh, the cool weather has definitely arrived. So I have to go put some firewood in the oven because the house was getting a little chilly and being home alone in my parents' house, which I'm not used to, that means I all of a sudden have to be in charge of, you know, lighting the fire and making sure the house is warm. I kind of, I wouldn't say that I failed on it, but I, so far I have, uh, Let's just say there is, there is potential of improvement. That's for sure. Ow, hot tea, ow. Hold on. And I'm back. So, yeah, I haven't went to physically look at any houses, but I've been looking online and oh my, that's a, uh, I mean, it is a lot of houses for sale. The standard of those houses. <laughs> well, quite a few of them leave, uh, um, how do I put this nicely? A lot to be desired. Then it's not necessarily desired by me. <laughs> That's for sure. I mean, I just saw one today and I was like, ooh, this looks promising. And I thought that until I looked a little bit more and then I realized it's not really all that promising. And it could be promising if you had a bunch of time and a bunch of money. And uh, in a way, I do have time. I haven't gotten a job yet. I have applied for a few jobs, but I haven't gotten any. So in that sense, I, I, do, have, I do have the time, but I don't have that much money. <laughs> Uh, not enough money to do up that house. I mean, it was a farmhouse, a small farmhouse, but it was a farmhouse. And it looked real nice, kind of. Actually, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't actually look that nice. It looked worn out, but it had the look that I wanted. It had the size of property that I wanted. It had a fairly cheap price, which is not surprising uh, because, you know, I have... The firewood smells funny. Hold on. It just needed a bit more air. We're good, I hope. Me and my parents' uh, wood stove, we have, haven't exactly, uh, we're not quite on the same page yet. We're, we're working on it, but we'll get there. Uh, where was I? Yeah, this house looked promising. And I was like, huh, this is, this is interesting. I think I like this. And um, then I was looking at the pictures. It had a barn. It had a house, it had a big property, it had a forest on it, it had some place where I could grow food. Um, there were a few challenges, like uh, the house. It had some rot in the basement, which is like, you can fix that, fine. Um, you'd probably need to apply for certain things. Um, like, you know, make a bathroom because it didn't have a bathroom. So there was no like bathroom with a sink and shower and toilet. In fact, there, 
there were no toilet except in a way there was a toilet it was like this you know these old-fashioned toilets that you have like in an outbuilding where it's basically just you build a bench and you make a hole in it and then you sit on there and do your business yeah it was that kind of toilet in the barn yeah apart from that it seemed like you yeah you know you'd have to probably redo the whole house because it was so old and not kept up to date and you know taken care of but a apart from that it was great <laughs> so in other words not not really all that great but I, I can't deny the fact that I did like the look of it how weird does that make me huh I, I don't think I'm gonna consider that but a part of me really wants to consider it because it was like okay and it also didn't have a garage it did have a basement though and it did have wood stoves oh and now mine are like taken off hold on i'm going to be back and forth to the wood stove for a while apparently we yeah me and the wood stove we're working on trying to figure things out how we communicate it's a it's a process but yeah back to the house Apart from the fact that it didn't have a bathroom and it doesn't have a garage, it do have a barn. Which we didn't get to see pictures of the barn inside. Which speaks for itself. Itself. I mean, when you, when you, uh, <laughs> when there's no pictures of um, the inside of a house, you know it's bad. You know it's not just a little bad, you know it's really bad. <laughs> you did see pictures, inside pictures of the house. But not of the barn. Um, there was also one other building on the property, but I have no idea what you would call that building in English. So, yeah. But that was um, was basically being told to be as this you can just tear down because it's so far gone. So yeah. But apart from that, I really liked it. It looked really nice and it's in the area I think I might want to live and it just you know it's the bathroom itch issue here clearly <laughs> I, do, I do I would like to buy a house with the bathroom I will admit I I think I would uh, I think I would appreciate that I mean I am quite used to uh, what's the word? Modern am amenities? Amenities? Amenity? You know, like electricity, running water, indoor bathroom with like a shower and toilet and stuff like that. I am, um, I'm very used to that. I'm rather attached to having that in the house. <laughs> I just, you know, but as I said, apart from that, that house didn't look, you know, okay, it didn't look so good, but I liked it. Is that weird? How crazy am I? <laughs> I don't know. A part of me can't help but want it. What it says about me? Uh, maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe let's not get into that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh anyway so i'm still living with my parents it's not great i don't like it but it's where i'm currently at and um yeah it's it's starting to wear us all down i have to admit so i'm um it's like i'm desperately looking for houses and then when I can't find what I want to the price that I kind of have to have because money um, and then I get super disappointed and then I get like frustrated and sad and basically I become in a really bad mood because what I want I can't apparently have but I, I can't stay where I'm at so it's a whole thing I feel like it's very much a whole thing, but 
So I go on every day and look for houses. And I'm not saying there are false fits on this puzzle, but some of them are like a little, little hard to decipher whether they're supposed to go there or not. I don't know. This, okay, I don't even know where they go. Apparently I did not do the best job of sorting. You brought, you're about to cut me off, I think. Hold on. So, the housing situation, it's, yeah, it's a thing. I'm getting frustrated looking for a house because I, I can't find what I want. And I, I feel like it's just a whole freaking mess. Is that new? Not, not really, I guess. Not really. But, yeah. And I tried to start sorting these properly, not just take, picking out the edge pieces, but it was so hard. So I decided to go old fashioned. No sorting, except the edge pieces. So this is gonna be eh, interesting, I guess. Let's just put it like that. And I also would like to finish the puzzle before my parents come back. So I only have this weekend. I think I'm going to try to cut it up into several videos because if not, it's going to take forever to edit. And, you know, it's a thing too. Editing. But yeah, where was I going? Uh, yeah, housing. We're back to talking about housing. Oh, that's going to be like a theme for this channel. Where am I going? Where am I living? Have I found a house to buy yet? So far the answer is nope. Um, but yeah, it's uh, <laughs> Do they go there? No, okay. Oh, uh, the glare, it's making me nuts. Okay. I guess you could say that I didn't quite think this through, but if, if if that's what you did, then yes, you're probably correct. I didn't think this through. Uh, when it comes to puzzles, I usually never do. Then it rhymed. Okay, I need to find more red pieces because this is not enough. Okay. So, sometimes this bugs me that I can't like so, what do you think? What have you been doing lately? And then you can't answer because I'm technically talking to a camera. Not just technically, I am talking to a camera, but yeah. Uh, it's been a lot of frustration, as I said, because I don't like living with my parents. I never really did. Or, I know, when I was a kid, maybe. I haven't really thought about that. But I, gosh, I've been living with my parents for almost two months now. I am so over it. So, so over it. And I'm realizing when we're done with this conversation, I will sort without you because it'll probably be easier to sort at least a little bit. I get it, I get it, I will sort a little bit. And uh, I will can, can continue to complain about housing, 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 until I buy a house. And then I'm gonna have to buy a house that is probably so like crappy in some ways that I have to do a ton of stuff with it and it's gonna cost a lot of money and it all gonna end up being me being frustrated and hopefully super excited. But I'm not quite at the super excited part yet because I haven't bought a house. I will get there. 
okay i promise i will get there i don't break my promises i just wish i knew when this one would gonna take effect and happen because i would really like to move but it's currently not quite happening yet I feel like I am working on it though. I keep looking for houses and then I keep getting frustrated and then I keep getting so like frustrated and sad that I have to take a break from, from looking for houses because I get so upset uh, because I was like, oh, I'm not finding anything. And then I was like, oh, maybe this one, maybe this one. Then I read a little bit more and I was like, nope. Not it. Definitely not it either. And then I get so disappointed. It's like, oh, that disappointment, God, that disappointment is taking a toll on me. Such massive toll on me. It's, mm. <laughs> and then I come here and complain when I'm home alone. <laughs> so I'm dragging you down too. Oh my God. Well, you know, I appreciate you being here. I love that. I really appreciate it. So yeah, what are your frustrations today? Do you have something you wanna share? Um, because I do notice that if I sit um, and just look for a house and then I get frustrated and then I have no one to talk to, because I know my parents are already frustrated and I don't want to make it even worse for them because I don't feel like that's nice. And I mean, if I start complaining, it's not like they can run away anywhere. But technically you can. I appreciate you being here, but that doesn't mean that you have to. I mean, no one's forcing you. But I really appreciate you, that you're here. Don't get me wrong. I, I hope you stick around, but I, and also I think I just need someone who's not my parents because they're very sympathetic and they feel for me and they agree with me that I should find a place to move out and all. It's just like, yeah, I get it. I agree. It's not like we disagree on that part, but I think I just need like talk to someone that are not my parents. So, I talk to you guys. I love it. And I get to share my frustration without, you know, killing anyone in the process, which is great. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a thing. But you already know that. I keep, why do I keep repeating that? I don't know. Anyway, I'll probably continue because that's how I occasionally function when I do pretend that I function um but yeah I uh oh I feel like I'm putting together at least some things here I'm not saying it's all going really fast but it doesn't have to go fast it's just fast enough for me to be done you know like before my parents come back but today is Friday uh, 27th of October and my parents ain't coming home until Sunday afternoon or evening they didn't have an exact time and it's fine it's just they're coming home at some time far into the day on Sunday which gives me time to do this puzzle I love that and Oh, I was going somewhere with something. Um, we'll get back to this, okay? We'll get back to it. Anyway, I am still looking for a house. I'm getting very frustrated. And also some of the houses that I'm finding, like the one that I just looked at. Also, can you hear me when I like dig through the pieces? This is probably why I need to, you know, sort before we talk next time. So I have to hurry up and sort, I guess. Um, um, 
Yeah. Filler words. I'm sorry about those. I will try to get better, but let's be honest, the chance of that happening is... Who knows? I um, do like sharing some of the houses that I find, because sometimes it's like, Oh, this looks pretty good, except it doesn't have a bathroom. Oh. And we did go... Oh, did I tell you about that? I don't know. We did go and look at a house, and then, like, the kitchen ceiling was kind of like not flat in the top anymore it was like bending down i think it wanted to fall down a little so <laughs> that that was not very promising you know when the kitchen ceiling is about to fall down you don't want to buy that or at least i didn't want to buy that and my parents although they want me out of the house they very much agree with me that that would not be the place i ought to buy because I didn't feel like having a, you know, the kitchen ceiling falling down. It didn't seem like a good idea. Why, why the owner hadn't tried to do anything about it, I have no idea. Maybe they just got used to having it there. Like, slowly creeping down. I don't, I don't know. I didn't ask them. Because I was just like, oh, the kitchen ceiling is about to fall down. Interesting. I don't want it. But you know, that's uh we we've been to look at a few few different houses and they always end up with things like that. Like uh yeah. Th there has been a lot of weird houses. I like to find one that is slightly less weird so I can actually, you know, buy it and move and spend all my time doing puzzles and knitting and all stuff like that. That would be amazing. But I, I do also have to get a job, you know? But, uh, you know, one thing at a time. They still don't go there. Okay. Um, I think... Hold on. Let me just see if I can do a little bit more here. Or not. It might be the not part. And also the the lighting is not my friend right now, I will admit. So I think I'm gonna finish this video here. And uh, I'll have my tea while I sort off camera. Because I'm not sure how well you can hear me talk when I'm digging through the pieces in the box. So, we'll see. And I will see you in the next video. I hope you have enjoyed this one. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoy it too. And uh, if you have frustrations, tell me about them because I believe it could be a good thing, you know? I get to share my frustrations about a house, or in this case, not a house, or they're well, technically a house, it's just not finding the right one. And also living with my parents, that's also a frustration. But I get to share that with you, so... And I don't know exactly how it works, but it kind of makes me feel better that I get to share it. It's probably because I get it out of me, at least to to an extent i mean there's still frustration in me about this thing but i don't know it feels better yeah i like it i appreciate that you let me do this so thank you and i will see you in the next video bye